and Ben. So go ahead and raise your hands. We'll get the questions going for these two. And then can you take us in what it's like to, to play with a point guard like Casperus and you know, how you just have to play with him when you're a shooter? It's really fun to play with KJ. Uh, he has a really, really great knack for finding shooters when they're open. Uh, he, if you watch him, he does a great job of manipulating the defense with his with his eyes. And uh, so just, I mean, when, you, when you're with KJ, just always stay ready, ready to shoot. It felt like you really wanted those last two rebounds. I guess, was there a point where you felt like, hey, I could get a triple double tonight? I mean, I think that's not the goal, you know. The most important is to, to win and just play the best, so. Uh, ben, I want to get your thoughts on just you playing in a system like this, getting up 38 three points at that three pointers tonight, and then you had eight, five of eight. So, just wanted to get your thoughts on just playing in the system. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, I'm the nerd around here, so I love the analytics of it. It makes sense why we do it. Um, it's, it's incredibly efficient. We have a lot of guys who can really make them. And so, uh, I mean, that's what Coach Underwood's about, not just shooting, but making them. And so, uh, no, it's great. I love it. It's, uh, I mean, a lot of why I came here. Uh, seeing last season's team get honored like that before the game, what does that kind of mean to you guys? How would you guys' reaction to that? What, is there any motivation in there? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's really moving to be able to see uh, what impact that has on our program. Last, team, last year's team was incredible, uh, really fun to watch. It was, a, it was a band of brothers that really played well together. And uh, I mean, it's something that we strive for. That's why uh, KJ and I are sitting right here, wanting to do stuff like that. What's it like to be on a team where you can shoot the three, Kylie can shoot the three? I mean, there's a bunch of three-point shooters. How dangerous does that make this offense? I mean, incredibly. Uh, that's, I mean, it's, it's really fun when you can spread the floor, when we can play point five basketball, making quick decisions. Um, I mean, our offense has been, has kind of been a product of that, just showing that we can, we can score at a high level. And, and, and I mean, throwing shooters out there on the floor really makes everything more efficient. Yeah, that's our team. We, we basically all can shoot. Whoever is not on the floor, we can pass, extra pass, and then shoot it. So I think that's our strength. KJ, we were upset with Marez that he ripped one away from you. As you get close to 10. No, no, no. I'm good. Casper, the, ball, the ball's in your hand a lot, obviously. Was it was that the similar role that you had in the Euro League? And, and do, you, do you feel like Coach Enderwood gives you a lot of freedom uh, with the ball? Yeah, I feel uh, I have freedom and I can make plays. Uh, I'm trying to tell it my teammates uh, to share the ball, to make uh, everyone happy on the court. So that, that's my that's my role here. It's for both of you. Uh, Monday, Coach Underwood talked about is it a game that you play in practice where it's you know, about shot selection, where certain shots are worth more points. So how much has that maybe helped refine, you know, where you're putting up 38 threes in that game? Yeah, it's uh, it's something that we've worked on. Uh, whether got whether or not guys know it, um, it's 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 the way we want to play. Taking shots around the perimeter, taking shots at the rim, it's the most efficient way to do it. Um, it's just that's a little piece to help and kind of. Uh, manipulate our minds to what we really are looking for. Yeah, we always try to get a uh, great shot, not good shot. Uh, we're looking at extra passes or kicking out, uh, driving one more time, and just have the better shot that we could have uh, before. Then, when did it start that you would take this many threes? Like, when did that come to the forefront of the conversation? Was that something all the way back in the summer or the recruiting process, or did it kind of materialize in the fall? How did that play out? Yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of my development here is just uh, the coaching staff instilling confidence in my ability to shoot. Um, I mean, we've never really talked about numbers, but I, I, I mean, humbly, I want to say the Lord's gifted with me with the ability to shoot and do it at a high percentage. And so, I mean, we all have an understanding that maybe tonight I may, might be the guy that's the high volume three point shooter. But we have a lot of guys that can really get them up and, uh, and score them at a high level. Yeah, for KJ, you know, it's only the two games and they haven't been really close competitive games yet, but what's been the biggest adjustment from the Euro League to American college basketball? I think maybe the physicality. Uh, if you're comparing, obviously, men in Europe, uh, it's probably more physical there, but if you're comparing where I played uh, most of the time, it's like it was under 18 league, so uh, here players are more physical, but, but I think I became more physical too. Where, from the time I came here, so that's that's probably the biggest the biggest uh, difference.
Ben, you said you came here for this offense and, and this opportunity, but KJ wasn't here yet. Will Riley wasn't here yet. Just with all these pieces, Tomislav, how do you fit? Like, are, what are the opportunities? Can you take me in, like, what, what those opportunities are like in this offense for you? Yeah, uh, a lot of it is uh, just doing the things that I'm great at and striving every day to do them well. We have a lot of really high high level players, and we have all bought into the system that that we're playing around. And uh, I mean, a lot of my opportunities to stay ready to to be able to go uh, both sides of the basketball, whether it's uh, I mean, being a perimeter defender, being um, a guy that's trying to protect the rim, but. Uh, for, for everything, we're just we're a lot of dudes that love to play, and we're a lot of high level dudes that love to play. And so just just be great at what you're great at. Uh, the arm ball defensive effort seems to be a lot higher today. Um, how would you guys evaluate your defensive progress uh, since this summer? Yeah, so we're definitely getting better at that because we're focusing our, uh, in practices. We're trying to defend their, our best in practices, and that's that's converting to the games. Is that all for the players? Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.